At Margaret Hendry School, we believe in empowering children of all ages to be at the center of their own learning. Learning coaches and educators support children to develop the skills and learner assets required for this and support them at their point of need. In preschool, we offer a play-based approach interwoven with contextual inquiries. For example, recently the preschoolers acted as researchers in an authentic child-led investigation. While building a cubby house with loose parts, the children noticed an injured insect on the ground. A small group worked together and quickly delegated roles, with a few children circling around the insect to ensure it was not stepped on, and others alerting those playing around the area. Already, the children were displaying empathy and love for country, as well as the beings with which we share it. Together, we observed the insect gathering around it, yet giving it space. We noticed that it was missing color on its wings and was unable to fly. The children used their prior knowledge and personal experiences to hypothesize that it was a moth or a butterfly due to its wings and hair on its body. The children decided that due to its inability to fly and high traffic on the playground, it was not a safe environment for the insect to remain in. We discussed where we could transfer the insect to in order to keep it from being disturbed or further injured and decided to put it in a natural area outside of the school gate. shoe box a child source from our maker's table and gently carried it to the office. Both Kirli and Amanda thought it could be a bogong moth. When we showed Kate, she directed us to a bogong painting that a child from Margaret Hendry and her father had created together. We carefully analyzed the painting and noticed similarities such as the color and patterning as well as the body parts. The children also discussed differences such as the placement of the spots as well as the different wing shape. Kate suggested we consult the artist herself. This led us on an adventure through the learning neighborhoods, showing and consulting those we found along the way. At each stop, the children fully and independently explained the inquiry that they were delving into, as well as supporting the peers they encountered to use respect and care while observing the moth. When we reached the artist, she was unsure if it was a bogong, but thought her dad might know. We took a picture of the moth and sent it home with her so she could consult him, extending our inquiry out into the community. After a conversation about what we noticed, we carried on our way to release the moth. Going outside of the school gates provided another learning opportunity. We noticed our surroundings as we walked to the crosswalks. Before we crossed, we discussed the importance of safety, looking and listening, as well as how to show gratitude when someone lets you cross. Carefully, we all crossed together and walked to the grassy area. We noticed that it was a windy day when we observed the leaves and our hair blowing in the breeze. We thought since the moth could not fly, it would be a good idea to somehow shelter it from the strong wind, which could cause it to blow or tumble away. We found a small tree with long grasses and gently released the moth there. Upon returning to preschool, we bumped into our librarian, Bridget. We wondered if she had any books for us to further our research on moths and butterflies, as the children had expressed wonderings regarding what the moth would eat, what types of predators may prey on the moth, what baby moths are like, and how we can keep insects safe so people don't step on them. Bridget pointed us in the direction of a few relevant informational texts, which we checked out and took to preschool. Over the next few days, we researched all about moths with a particular interest in the life cycle. The children recorded their new learning in our floor books, as well as made connections between new learning and familiar texts such as The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Throughout the days, we added more and more learning to our floor book, which the children frequently referred to. Beyond inquiring into moths, we delved into multiple new lines of development and sequenced our inquiry events, explored patterns through art and working with textiles, inquired into other animals and insects which we share our land with, and discussed our impact on those animals and land. A small group of children also acted as resident experts and leaders by presenting their findings on the moth. Because this inquiry was child-led and relevant to the children with connections to their past experiences, present environment and actions, and future impacts, the children gained deep, meaningful learning from it. Additionally, they continue to connect this learning to their current learning and actions. This is just one example of the rich, meaningful inquiries and play that we foster at Margaret Hendry's Preschool. Here, children are empowered to drive their learning, and their deep connection and love for learning truly shows that.